In this video, I'm going to be comparing the Upper Baby Ridge and the Bob All Terrain. These are two running strollers, all terrain strollers that you may be comparing. And if you are, this is the video that you need to watch. I'm Ellie from Magic Beans Videos. I review and compare strollers and car seats and baby gear. Um, if this is the first time joining us for a video, nice to meet you. I encourage you to subscribe today because we release videos every week so you can stay up to date on baby gear. Okay, Bob, all terrain, up a baby ridge, two super popular companies. And if you are a runner or a walker or want to go through snow or across the mulch of a playground, like these are great strollers for you. They both have 16 inch wheels on the back and 12 inch wheels on the front. Main difference is that the Upper Baby Ridge has non deflating tires. These are EVA foam covered in this like rubberized material. And this has an inner tube inside and this is like a bike tire. So this is inflatable wheels. So though these don't deflate that frequently, um, you will have to pump them up and you could puncture the inner tube if you went over a nail or something like that. But with the up a baby, you don't have that. And that's a cool thing. While I'm down here to adjust the front wheel, you push this button here and all of a sudden the wheel can go out. You want the wheel out when you're running. It keeps the stroller more stabilized. Um, there's also a tracker or a uh, tracking knob to make sure that you're always straight. That's also available on the Bob. Now to change the Bob situation, all you have to do is turn, turn this little yellow knob this is the old pull, this little yellow doohickey, and this thing goes straight. Um, the Bob doesn't have the ability to have the wheel locked on the ins going in to make the stroller shorter, but with the Upper Baby, you can actually have it straight in the inner position, so you can make the stroller a little bit sh shorter for more like all-terrain walks rather than for running. Okay, in terms of folding down the stroller, they both have these super secret compartments in order to fold the stroller. What you do is you open this up, you push this little um, yellow button, you turn and you pull up, and the stroller can stand on its own. Same thing with the upper baby. You put it in the tallest position, open up that secret compartment, pull, twist, and it stands up on its own. Great. To open the strollers back up, there is a little sort of latch on the side. You just pull the latch open and the stroller opens up. For the ridge, what you do is that same mechanism that you folded it down is where you open it up. So you take that little button, you pull, you twist, and then you open it up. Um, if you notice right here, there's a little QR code. So you can scan the QR code if you want to have, uh, if you have any questions or forget how the stroller is used, it goes straight to the Apple Baby website and you can, it can answers all of your information. Um, in terms of the brake, Um, it's a pretty manual brake on the bob. You push your foot down and it breaks and you push it back up to unbrake it. With the upper baby, what you do is you push down the red to lock and the green to unlock. It's flip flop friendly, as we like to say. Um, there are disc brakes on the um, on the upper baby, which is based on uh, mountain bikes. And it is a really great way of braking um, when you're like running with your stroller. Um, they both have handbrakes. This is the Bob All Terrain Pro. It has a handbrake and it just slows down the stroller when you're running. There's also a handbrake on the ridge, which also helps slow it down when you're running. Okay, in terms of the weight of the stroller, the ridge is just under 30 pounds, just a smidge over 29 pounds, and the Bob All Terrain is 32 pounds. So they're both, for all intents and purposes, about the same weight, but this one is under 30, this one is over 30. This is the full canopy extension on the uh, Bob All-Terrain. And in terms of the ridge, there's an actual extendable canopy that extends down. And you can see even in the extended position, they go about the same. So even though this is extendable, it is like, it doesn't go down much further than the Bob does. Um, but they do have this really cool little pouch, a little, little pocket where you can put your wallet or your cell phone and you can have little earbuds, I mean, earphones come right in 
coming out of the canopy of the ridge was just a really nice little touch. There's an additional piggyback, which is a ride on board on the back, which enables you to use this with an additional child, which is something that you can buy as an accessory, but something that I think is another really cool differentiator between the Upper Baby Ridge and the Bomb All-Terrain is that you can get an available bassinet for the ridge to make it lie perfectly flat for newborn. The same bassinet that's for a Vista or a cruise, you can get for the ridge and then have it work with this. Um, they both can um, be available to use with car seat adapters so that you can click in one of the most, some of the popular car seats that are on the market that we all sell at Magic Beans. And so those are both, so in when you use a car seat adapter, you can use both of them available for newborn, but these are both running strollers, which is something would you start doing about like six to nine months, but definitely consult your pediatrician. Um, I have my handy dandy tape measure to get some stats. So I know a lot of people on the question always ask, how tall is the seat? Let's answer the question, how tall is the seat? So. The ridge to the top is 19 inches high and the Bob All-Terrain is, guess what, 19 inches high. So it's the same seat height. Um, and as you can see, the, so the canopies like both do that same little bunching thing. But I mean, this, these go up to, these have a very high weight limit and you can, so you can, you, you can run with this or walk with this with a quite a large child. In terms of the width, 17 inches wide on the bob and 16 inches wide on the ridge. So it is sort of more narrow in the seat, but in terms of the wheelbase, which is really what goes through doors, you are 25 and a half inches across for the ridge and you are 24 inches wide for the um, all-terrain. So this is actually more narrow than the ridge, which is interesting, but the seat is more narrow on the ridge than the Bob all-terrain. So these are both really great strollers. I highly recommend them. If you want like a personalized consultation so we can walk you through either of these strollers, definitely book a consultation either virtually through our website at mbeads.com or if you're in the greater Boston area, visit one of our stores. If you're still confused about strollers, I highly recommend that you watch our best strollers of 2021 after this video. I'll see you at the next video.